Hello, and thank you for joining me for my presentation. My name is Derek Dean, and I am the Vice President of the SCADA and ADMS Departments at ETAP. In my role, I oversee the development and implementation of our SCADA and ADMS solutions, which enable electrical utilities, industrial companies, and renewable energy providers to monitor, control, and optimize their power systems in real time. I'm excited to share with you today our innovative fault location solution for industrial systems, which helps companies quickly locate and isolate faults to minimize downtime and maximize productivity. In this presentation, I will start by examining some of the difficulties that the industry is currently encountering and the solutions that have been Im implemented to address them thus far. Next, I will discuss the driving forces behind the development of the ETAP fault location solution. Following that, I will provide a brief overview of the solution. Then I will walk through a real-world example of the ETAP fault location solution in action. Finally, I will outline the value proposition of the solution for you. The process of locating a fault in an electrical network can vary greatly depending on the specific industry, the complexity of the network, and the physical accessibility of the equipment. In many cases, technicians may spend hours or even days trying to track down the location of a fault, which can lead to significant downtime and lost productivity. Causes of outages in industrial systems can be varied and can result from a range of factors, including equipment failures, environmental factors, human error, and natural disasters. These factors can cause significant damage to electrical networks, resulting in extended periods of downtime and, most importantly, importantly loss of productivity. Equipment failures can occur due to aging infrastructure, faulty components, or insufficient maintenance. Environmental factors, such as lightning strikes, extreme temperatures, and high winds can also cause damage to electrical systems. Human error, including improper installation, maintenance, or operation, can also lead to outages. Finally, natural disasters, such as floods, earthquakes, and hurricanes can cause significant damage of electrical networks resulting in long periods of downtime and loss of production. Faults in industrial electrical systems can have a range of consequences depending on the nature and the severity of the fault. Some potential consequences include downtime, electrical faults can cause production equipment to shut down, leading to lost production time, decreased efficiency and lost revenue, equipment damage, Electrical faults can cause damage to equipment such as motors, transformers, and control systems, resulting in costly repairs or replacement. Safety hazards. Electrical faults can create safety hazards for personnel so, such as um, electrocution, fires, and explosions. Increased energy cost. Electrical faults can cause energy waste and increased energy cost due to equipment running inefficiently or operating out of a specification. Compliance issues, they can lead to non-compliance with safety regulations and standards, which can result in fines or legal action. And, if, and reputation damage. The reputation damage can, it can cause uh, with customers, suppliers, investors, leading to decreased business opportunities and revenue in the future. To avoid these consequences, it is, it is important to have a robust maintenance program in place that in includes regular inspections, testing, and repair of electrical systems. Additionally, investing in modern, reliable equipment and imp implementing proper training and safety protocols can help min minimize the risk of electrical faults in industrial systems. The complexity of industrial electrical systems can make it difficult to identify the source of a fault when it occurs. These systems often have numerous components and subsystems that are interconnected 
requiring technicians to navigate a maze of wires and circuits. Additionally, incomplete or outdated documentation can further complicate the process, as technicians may struggle to understand how the system is designed and how the components are connected. Limited access to certain components can also slow down the fault finding process, as technicians may need to work in confined spaces or at high elevations. In inadequate diagnostic tools can further add to the challenge, as technicians may need to rely on trial and error uh, methods or perform extensive manual testing to identify the fault uh, location. Moreover, the specialized and complex nature of industrial electrical systems requires a high level of technical expertise if the technicians responsible for maintaining the system do not have the necessary knowledge and skills, it can take longer to find the fault and implement a solution. This can be particularly challenging in cases where the plant's electrical system has been customized or modified over time. To address these challenges, industrial plants should invest in proper documentation, diagnostic tools, and training for their technicians. Regular maintenance and testing can also help to identify potential issues before they become major faults, minimizing downtime and maximizing efficiency. In industrial systems, there are different types of limited access that can pose challenges for maintenance and repair. One type is long distances, where the equipment is located far away from the central control room or maintenance facilities. This can make it difficult for technicians to quickly respond to faults or perform routine maintenance. Another type of limited access is hard to reach areas due to terrain. For example, equipment located on mountaintops or in dense forests may require special equipment or personnel with specific training to access safely. This can add significant time and cost to maintenance and repair efforts. In some cases, Limited visibility due to underground cabling can also pose challenges. Technicians may need to rely on maps or other documentation to locate specific equipment or cabling, which can be time consuming and error prone. Finally, limited access due to few access panels can also be a challenge. In some industrial systems, there may be limited access panels or hatches, which, which can make it difficult to access equipment or perform maintenance tasks. This can require specialized tools or equipment or even modifications to the system itself in order to improve access. In today's industrial systems, locating and restoring faults can be a challenging task. Various solutions have been implemented to address this issue, including SCADA signals, which can provide valuable information about the system's behavior, but are often limited in remote areas where communication infrastructure is lacking. Other methods such as fault indicators, infrared thermography, visual inspection, and simulator assisted and manual calculations can also be used to detect the loca and locate faults. However, these methods are not always reliable and be can be time consuming, especially in large and complex electrical networks. In some cases, Visual inspection walk, uh, while walking or driving the electrical system um, is necessary, which can be dangerous and require specialized personnel. To overcome these limitations, ETAP has developed the fault location solution, which can quickly and accurately locate faults in electrical networks. By analyzing data such as fault current, fault voltage, and digital trip signals from the contract files or disturbance records, the system can extrapolate key insights about the nature of the fault and pinpoint its location with precision. This can help reduce downtime, minimize repair costs, and improve overall system reliability. Overall, while there are various solutions available to locate and restore faults in industrial systems, the ETAP fault location solution offers a more efficient and reliable approach that can benefit many industries. The development of the ETAP fault location solution for industrial systems was motivated by the recognition that many key components were already in place with the ETAP suite of products. One of these components is the digital twin. 
This contains critical information about the system's electrical properties. Another is the engine for calculating fault locations based off of disturbance records. Another is the engine for calculating the fault locations from the disturbance records, which can be used to quickly locate faults in the system. Additionally, the SCADA system interfaces with telem telemetry data from the field and provides geospatial modeling and visualization capabilities. Finally, work order and crew management solutions help to dispatch and track incidents as they are being addressed. By leveraging these existing components and integrating them into a single solution, the ETAP Fault Location Solution is able to provide a powerful tool for quickly identifying and resolving faults in industrial systems. The suite of products offered provides a comprehensive solution for effectively managing faults in the industrial systems. This solution is designed to seamlessly combine SCADA telemetry and disturbance records from the field with advanced analytical algorithms to accurately identify the location of the fault, determine the necessary restoration steps, and efficiently manage work orders and crews to provide the best in-class solution. The suite offers a range of tools for work order management and crew management, ensuring that the right resources are deployed to the right locations at the right time. By leveraging cutting edge technology and expert analytics, this suite of products can help industrial companies minimize downtime, improve efficiency, and optimize their operations. Let me provide you with a high level diagram that outlines the different components involved in the ETAP fault location solution. The first set of components is the field equipment, which includes relays, fault passage indicators, PLCs, RTUs, basically anything that you can communicate in the field. These devices provide the telemeter data from the field to the ETAP SCADA solution. The ETAP SCADA not only provides communication to the field devices, but also generates alarms, reports, and HMIs that offer a comprehensive view of the electrical system. The fault location engine then communicates with both the ETAP SCADA and the ETAP digital twin model to calculate the fault location and the necessary restoration steps. The ETAP digital twin contains critical information about the system model and serves as the foundation for the fault location engine's calculations. Finally, the ETAP fault location solution integrates with crew management and work order management applications, as well as geospatial visualization tools. This, combined, uh, this combination of technologies creates a complete solution for managing fault incidents from fault location and restoration to tracking and dispatching crews to address the problems. The Flizzer, the Flizzer engine is a sophisticated piece of technology that integrates multiple data sources to provide a seamless solution to the operations. It takes into account the statuses of circuit breakers and switches, fault indicator statuses, and other telemetry data collected from the field devices. Additionally, it processes disturbance records that are downloaded automatically from the SCADA and also reads the ETAP digital twin. By analyzing this vast amount of data, the Flizzer engine generates fault location, fault type, and the necessary isolation and restoration steps. The isolation and restoration calculations provided by the Flizzer engine are designed to minimize the impact of the fault on the rest of the system. The switch plan generated by the engine will first isolate the faulted area to prevent it from further affecting other parts of the system. Once the faulted area is isolated, the engine will then provide restoration steps to restore as many critical assets as possible while the fault is being addressed. The restoration calculations can include various optimizations such as minimizing losses, balancing the feeder, optimized voltage, or any combination thereof. These optimizations help to ensure that the restored system is operating at peak efficiency and reduces the likelihood of further outages or faults. 
The Flizzer engine's ability to quickly and accurately calculate these restoration steps is a key advantage allowing for a more efficient and effective response to outages. Now I'd like to briefly discuss a case study for the fault location solution for industrial systems. In this example, we have a mountainside mining operation in South America. This operation has many very long runs from the central substation to various mining sites in very remote areas. Additionally, due to the geographical, geographical location, this specific installation is located in an earthquake, tropical storm, and hurricane prone area. This leads to frequent outages. Electrically, this is a network of radio lines which have ties at various locations to allow electrification through a secondary uh, feeder, sometimes even tertiary feeders. This representative system consists of pairs of radio feeders that supply power to various sites located within a mountainous region. However, it is important to note that access to these lines is limited to their location in dense forests and varying, varying elevations. The main substations operating uh, feeder 1 and feeder 2 are equipped with relay protection that provides telemeter data and disturbance records to the central fault location solution. However, downstream on the network there are often little to no relay protections due to cost constraints and lack of communication infrastructure in the remote areas. Additionally, fault, location, uh, fault indicators are not present in this example to help identify the location of the faulted area. Each site in the system is modeled as a, comp as a composite network consisting of electrical equipment, transformers, switches, etc., and production supporting equipment, drills, motors, pumps, and auxiliary power support. The system includes isolator switches that can separate the three sites on each side and a normally open tie that connects the two lines. In the event of a fault on any line in the system, the entire feeder will de-energize due to the relay protection at the substation, leading to a loss in productivity for all three sites until the fault can be isolated. This is part of the problem for having not enough relay protection um, within the electrical system, which is due to the fact that they have a um, very disparate um, uh, system is in very isolated locations. Overall, while this is a simplified version of the electrical system in ETAP, it is clear that the system has several limitations and challenges, including limited access to the lines, lack of downstream relay protection, and potential loss of productivity due to faults and its significant need of a fault location tool to minimize downtime. Let me further explain the scenario where a fault occurs on line 3 and how the ETAP fault location solution can help to isolate the fault and restore production quickly. When a fault occurs on line 3, the R feeder 1 will detect the fault and trip feeder 1, resulting in a complete outage of sites 1, 2, and 3, causing a significant loss in production. With the limited visibility of the network, Technicians may have difficulty finding the faulted section in the forested mountain uh, region, leading to a prolonged downtime. However, with the ETAP fault location solution, the disturbance record can be automatically downloaded from R underscore feeder 1 to assist in finding the fault location. The disturbance record provides valuable data such as fault current, fault voltage, and digital, digital trip signals, which can be analyzed to determine the nature of the fault. By using this data against the ETAP digital twin with all the electrical properties defined, the fault location and other critical information about the fault can be determined. In this example, the fault is determined to be approximately 35 kilometers down line 3. With the fault location determined, the switching optimization engine can be used to quickly calculate the necessary steps to resume operation for all three sites. This engine takes into account the capacity of feeder 2 and ensures that the recommended restoration steps do not lead to an overload condition. In this case, the recommended steps involve opening isolator 1B and isolator 2A, then closing feeder 1 and isolator tie. 
to energize the system fully while the crew addresses the fault on line 3. These steps can be executed manually in the field, manually executed by an operator through the SCADA, or automatically executed through the ETAP fault location solution. It is important to note that in more complex scenarios, the isolation and restoration steps may not be as apparent, and the switching optimization engine can help determine the most effective steps to restore production while minimizing downtime. In summary, the ETAP fault location solution can help quickly determine, um, identify and, and the fault location and provide recommenda recommendations for isolating and restoring power, resulting in reduced downtime and improved efficiency. Ultimately, the value proposition for the ETAP fault location for industrial systems is that it can save time, by automating the fault location process, the ETAP solution can dramatically reduce the time it takes to locate and address a fault. This can help minimize downtime and improve overall system performance. Additionally, the, the solution can quickly identify the faulted area so you can focus your resources where they are needed most. Additionally, the ETAP solution can automatically calculate key reliability metrics such as Saidi, Saifi, Kaidi based on the data collected from the field. This can help you identify areas of your system that may be prone to faults and prioritize maintenance and upgrades accordingly. Creating these reports are often extremely time consuming on the engineers who need to look back at a wealth of data. Additionally, it can help on increased productivity. By streamlining the fault location and restoration process, the ETAP solution can help Increase productivity for your maintenance and operations teams. This means you can address more faults in less time, freeing up resources for other critical tasks. The ETAP solution can provide a switch plan that isolates the faulted area and restores critical assets as quickly as possible. This means you can minimize the impact of the fault on your system and keep as many loads online as possible while the fault is being addressed. It can also save money. By reducing the need for additional sensing equipment in remote areas, the ETAP solution can help you save money or on capital expenditures. Additionally, the solution can help you avoid costly downtime and repairs by quickly addressing faults and minimizing their, their impact on your system. Thank you for your time and feel free to reach out if you have any additional questions or queries